Hey, what's up guys? It's CJ here doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on um, how to put hyperlinks and signatures in forums for like your forum signature, stuff like that. Um, this isn't really going to be a tutorial on how to, um, how to make a signature because to me that's kind of silly, but um, it's because I mean, your signature is all about your creativity and how to express yourself. If you're doing a guide or whatever, then you're really not expressing yourself. You're expressing that person with a little twist of yourself. So I'm just going to kind of go over this. And this is way too big. So what we'll do is we'll go 450 by or even 400 by 150. And since everyone has the LCD, we'll do 100. Okay. So we have our signature template here. So first thing you're going to want to do is design your signature. So mine is going to be epically simple. Simple. It's going to be epically simple here. Um, and I'm not really going to talk about how I'm doing it. Actually, I should make a new layer here. Um, I'm not really going to talk about how I'm doing it because, you know, um, like I said, this isn't a tutorial on how to make a signature, um, but I'm just going to probably just do something real quick, do a blur, do like a um, radial blur, uh, let's kind of do it like that, we can do like a zoom, that's even cooler, we want it on our best, and F F F F F F F F F F F. And then uh, let's do a filter and then do a blur and do like a motion blur. Do it up and down. But that's way too strong. And then do another blur and do like a radial. Nope, not motion. Radial blur. Do, do, do. There it is. And this time we'll spin it. We'll spin it a lot less. Pata. Okay, so we got this funky blur. Let's take that background out. We'll make it something like uh, make a new layer, drop it behind. We'll do something like uh, let's make it like a black. Yeah, there we go. And fill it up. Okay, and then we'll control T it and uh, we'll shift alt, pull it in. Um, and then we will take our wand and select the outside, go up under the layer on top of it, clear that out. And then we'll just be like, um, it's TJ, right? put like that on there bring it up you know make your focal points all that kind of stuff I'm just doing this crudely it won't be anything pretty to look at but the point of it is not to uh, it's not to um have a badass signature it's to show you guys how to include hyperlinks in it so do something like that Give me like a one on that. And then we're going to do like uh, Facebook, Twitter. What else do these kids have nowadays? Um, we can just say Steam or whatever, right? Okay. And then we'll like copy these layer style over. Paste it. Okay. So let's zoom out, see if it's actually legible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, decently legible. Can read it just fine. Okay, so this is our derpy little signature, right? We got some transparency there in the background, so it blends. You know, we got all kinds of crap. So then, you know, I guess what, to express myself, we can just go to Google and search like Wonder Woman. And just be like, yeah, this is me, totally. 
view that image. Let's take that because why not, right? Uh, we'll do save that image, save it to the desktop. Da -da. Go back to Photoshop, file, open, go to my desktop. Let's see, where are you? Let's go, Wonder Woman. Let's do this. Do -do 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 -do. Actually, that looks kind of sexy, just an eyeball like that. All right? And then take uh, take that magic wand, select that box layer, and uh, we'll delete the edges of Wonder Woman right there. I guess we will make this kind of a cool signature, right? Um, <coughs> do a uh, stroke here, because got the stroke. Uh, we'll do it on the inside, though. Yeah, inside. We'll do it like at two width. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Bring this down now. Oops. Bring it down here for a little bit of balance. And, uh, because I mean, why not? Why not, guys? Why not? All right, crop it. Hello. Still getting used to a CS or CC, I should say. So there, I got a little bit of shenanigans going on. So this is when it's, you start planning for um, your hyperlinks in your signature at this point. All right, you want your links to generally be in a line because that's just gonna make things all kinds of easier. But what I suggest is you can have this all kinds of ways. So if you have your, your links up high, you can make the bottom like a thin strip hyperlink. If you have them this low, then you can make the bottom section. So I'll have them really low and make it easy on myself. Um, and then what I will do is find my slice tool. All right, we're gonna start slicing this image. So we want it pretty much the way that a hyperlink would be. We want it close to the wording. Make sure that you have no gaps. Um, or that your gaps make sense, right? So like say you want to do it before that line on every word. Okay, make that. So this is a very simplistic version. This is only one, two, three, five images. All right, so that makes it really easy to put together in the uh, long run once you're in the forum. All right, so uh, we'll go to save for web. All right, that's important. Now you want the transparency in the background, so I'll make it PNG, all of them PNG 24s. Um, they'll be bigger, but it doesn't matter if you're uploading them to third party like Photo Bucket or something like that, or Image Shack. All right, so we got our four images, right? So we want to save them. I guess we can go to desktop, make a new folder, and do tutorial images. And save them as signature tutorial and save all right so now they're in there all five of them it sliced them up for us they'll be right in here now they're all in pieces all right so now what we do we got our wonder woman up here close these tabs out and we will go to da 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 uh, let's just do photo bucket welcome back let's upload hmm Better sign in. Uh, I have an account. There it is. So. I think that's it. All right, here we go. So what you want to do is pick a third party, like Image Shack or Photo Bucket or whatever you want to do. Um, you want to upload and choose your files. You want to go to our, where your location is for all your images and select them all, open them. And here we go. We got uh, quite a bit, all five of them ready to go. So let's just go to our bucket. So I also have my actual signature. Uh, let's skip the tour. I actually have my actual signature up right here um, as well, all the images for it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this temp tutorial signature. Let's go to where our forums are. All right, we'll go to our user control and um, go to our profile here. 
go to our signature. Okay, this is my current signature, so I'm gonna take this and put it in a notepad doc or something. All right, so that's saved. All right, so right now, one thing that you can do that helps a lot because a lot of um, forums have uh, character limits, right? And it's really easy to go over when you have a big signature that takes a lot of images. So what I suggest you do is go to tinyurl.com and uh, I'll take each one of these. So this is the big one. Take that, we'll get our direct link, All right? Copy it in there, make the URL. I have a tiny URL. Copy that to clipboard. Go into my forums, go to image since it's just a normal image, right? And there's the first one. Now, be careful with your page breaks here because it's going to be uh, just like um, wherever you hit enter, you're going to get um, you're going to get the break whether you see it or not. So don't hit enter unless you need to. Right here we need a break because we're going down a level in our slices. Okay, so the next image is, uh, I don't think it's that one. Which one was first? Uh, this one? Yes, I think so. So we'll get, since this is a hyperlink, oh, actually, no, we want this one. So this is a regular one. We'll go in here, make a tiny URL, copy to clipboard. Go down here, that, that, okay. And then since all these are in a line, we don't make a break. And actually that's not a URL, that's an image. Do, 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 do. Okay, moving on. So that's fixed. Now we gotta go to our first image, which is Facebook. Now what I do here is I will take this code because I don't have it memorized for a hyperlink image and I will put it in the forum right now take your hyperlink to your image and tiny URL it copy that to the clipboard okay so that the first one is the URL the second one is the URL to the image. So the first one needs to be where you want it to go. Right? So since this is the Facebook one, we'd be like www. or remember your http facebook.com. Right? Okay, no page break because we want the next one to be in a straight line. Checking back with our image, it's Twitter. So Twitter. Where are you? Twitter. Right there. And we want a right there image. And this is going to make a link for us. So the first URL is what? The location. So www.http twitter.com. Right? And then this. URL is the image which we want to tiny URL. So take that and copy it, make our tiny URL, copy that to clipboard, and pachow. Right? Yes. Okay, we got one more since we made a decently small one. We got Steam. Okay, and we'll get this image tag, copy that. And uh, post that right there. Now remember, no breaks since it's a straight line. And this is the URL here. And we'll just do HTTP. Here we got Steam. Oops, steampowered.com. And then take this URL. And uh, tiny URL it. Copy that to clipboard and replace it all right and we will preview and uh looks like we have an issue with our second image so the second image here was facebook facebook one so 
Looks like her. Alrighty, so we will go back, I guess. Unless we can reload it. Let's preview it. See if it reloads. Yeah, it's not one to go, isn't it? Uh, let's go. Um, Check our Facebook again here. Do 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 direct tiny URL. Copy that. Mm -hmm. Make a new one here. Now oh, let's preview it. Aha, there we go. And as you can see, we got a nice solid signature with uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Steam. All clickable. So if like I click on that take me right to Facebook, which is my Facebook. So everyone gets to see my feed. And Twitter, same thing. And of course you would personalize that with like links to your specific uh, page. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, uh, like and subscribe if you liked the video. I'd appreciate it. Um, if there is any other kind of things that you'd like to know about and uh, don't quite know the answer to, feel free to hit me up and I will definitely look into it. If I don't know it, I'll learn it and I'll make a video. Um, I'll probably do a few of these videos um, in the future. So yeah, just let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, thanks for watching. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.